Good night on Florida Focus. Florida's Bright Futures program is under attack and parents are fighting back. What new legislation can mean for thousands of students? We've got to start over from ground zero and we've got to scale again. A food truck is bouncing back thanks to the support from the Tampa Bay Lightning. You might get lucky this weekend and come home with a new furry friend. We'll have details about a pet adoption tour in Tampa. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Courtney Patterson. Changes could be coming to the state's Bright Future Scholarship. Emma Oliver tells us Republicans are moving forward with the bill that could hurt tens of thousands of students. Senate Bill 86 was actually pulled from the Senate Education Committee after parents and students protested the bill. Now it's back. The revised version would require state education officials to list degrees that don't lead directly to jobs. Students majoring in degrees on the list would get smaller scholarship amounts. If the bill passes, students will no longer get scholarship credit for completing some AP classes. Yesterday, Senate Republicans agreed to push the start date back to 2023. The bill still has several committees before senators will vote on it. Thanks, Emma. The Vinick Sports Group is helping local businesses affected by the pandemic. Reporter Julio Martinez shows us how the Backing the Bay program helped a waffle truck get back on the road. Pop Goes the Waffle began serving customers in 2017 before having to close because of COVID-19. All those had to shut down and that immediately killed the wholesale business. Even with her business closing, Sarah Flood continued to flip waffles for local food banks and frontline workers. Our focus is education and food insecurity program. This waffle truck was the first business to get funding from the Back in the Bay program. The Vinick Sports Group will be granting $50,000 in marketing assets to a different business every month for the rest of 2021. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Julio Martinez. Thanks so much, Julio. What a great story. With the little luck of the Irish, maybe you can adopt a puppy at the end of the rainbow at Tampa's Humane Society this week. They're teaming up with the North Shore Animal League for the Tour for Life 2021. Adoption fees will be half off for dogs and cats who have been waiting for a home longer than 15 days. The shelter is open from 9.30 to 5.30 Monday through Friday and 9 to 1 this Saturday. Thanks for watching Florida Focus. Have a great evening.